Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a pretty interesting 50 caliber round. These are uh, US, they're called Project Salvo rounds. And what you're looking at is a standard 50 caliber round uh, made by the US military in the 1950s to test the viability of multiple projectiles coming from one round. And what these are is actually five projectiles in a standard 50 caliber casing and they were tested by a number of different companies i know colt uh, did a lot with 50 cal and 30 cal or 762 by uh, 51 so 308 there were also nine millimeter and uh, 45 acp rounds made um, the U.S. military kind of screwed around with the project a lot through the 50s and into the 60s. It uh, was very interesting. It never really got anywhere. But the essential idea was you have a 50 caliber round right here. And when that is fired through the, the bore, the bore actually squeezes down to 30 caliber. And when it leaves, you've got five 30 caliber rounds coming at pretty high velocity. And uh, just to put more lead in the air and see if that worked. Uh, as I understand, the only operational combat use of this type of round was in Vietnam. Some of the U.S. River Rhine uh, boats actually tested it and found that there were issues with barrel erosion and the accuracy was okay, but it wasn't really enough to get the U.S. military that interested beyond that. Um, also, uh, one thing, if you encounter these rounds, which if you're a collector, you probably will. They're not super, super rare. There's a few different variants of these. This is one of the earlier variants. Uh, you will see a lot of them loaded into uh, late World War II or sort of early Korean-ish war era cartridges. Uh, these are actually SL-45 head stamps, which stands for uh, Salt Lake 1945. And yes, the rounds were made in 1945, but the uh, tips were put in probably in the 1950s after the Korean War. So they sort of just took some old ball rounds and reconditioned them to be an experimental round. Uh, as I said, these are sort of uncommon. They're certainly not super rare. If you go on any major uh, gun website, you'll probably find some for sale. They're not super expensive. But this is just a nice example of an entire belt of them. Um, well, a belt of 12 rounds. But uh, still just something that is interesting. And uh, if you come across one, you know what you're looking at now. As always, like and subscribe. We'll be looking at all kinds of interesting stuff in the next weeks, days, months, and hopefully even years. Thanks for watching.